Alabama is famous for its historic district. I was lucky enough to walk through and see through time all the houses. It was really just amazing. I want to start by saying that you are awesome because I think uh, I think it's great that a man as young as you are is using film to uh, to uh, use your voice and get a great message out there. I just think that's awesome. Well, You're ten years old. Yes, I am. When I was ten, I was still playing with Tinker Toys. <laughs> so I, I think it's awesome that you're doing what you're doing. Now this is your first film that you've had shown at a film festival, am I right? Yes, that is true. How does that feel? It feels fantastic. I can't. I really can't wait to put this in other film festivals, and I will never forget this experience. <laughs> so he's from. Uh, he's came all the way from L.A. to Alabama just yesterday, last night. And uh, what's that experience been like? <laughs> Very little sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, when it came to, to making the film, I noticed that you were the writer, the director, and of course one of the actors in it. And uh, can you just tell me a little bit a little bit about your experience in each of those areas? Well, writing it's probably the funnest because you guys put your imagination on paper. In writing, there's no basically fences. For everything else, there is. There's rules and restrictions. For writing. You're basically putting your imagination on paper. So I really love doing that every time I make a new film. So when I was creating this script for Day of Silence, it was really not just a chore I had to do. It was kind of like a fun activity. Right. And directing, it's also very fun because you feel like you're helping, like, tuning the film because you're saying action, cut, and you're telling where the camera should be and where they shouldn't be. It's a bit more fenced up than writing, but it is also very fun. Acting is probably the hardest because you actually have to memorize lines. <laughs> but you wrote them. <laughs> so hard. Writing them and memorizing them are two different things. Right. So acting is probably the hardest. It's also extremely fun because you get to learn new experiences get to do new things and also you get to act in different places. Well after writing the script, did the script change much from the time that you wrote it to the time that you actually filmed it? Um, the Day of Silence paragraphs were added later and the title was actually changed later as well. Now when you wrote the script, did you have your friends in mind to play those parts or did you cast them after the fact? Those were friends. Yeah, and you, you, you were thinking of them as you wrote those parts? I thought they were perfect because Zane, he, he's nice and bulky like a bully. Right. And, <laughs> well, he looked perfect for one. And uh, Caitlin, she, she, she looked a lot like me. If I had a sister, she would look a lot like my sister, so she was perfect for that too. Well, I think you're very talented to be able to pull all three of those things off, to write it, direct it, uh, act in it, and did you edit it as well? Um, what we do for editing is one of our cameramen named Terry. Mm -hmm. uh, we edit it with him for one day. We go to his house and we edit it with him. Um, and because we really don't understand it that much, he's uh, much more of an expert at editing than we are. So how good does it feel? to go from writing it, directing it, acting in it, editing it, and now getting to see a, a group of people who appreciate film watch it. After editing 12 hours and um, filming for almost 24 hours, um, it feels really good to see all your progress, all your progress add up to make one piece of art. And uh, I think from talking to your mother, you already have two other films in progress now. Is that correct? Yes, two other films are in progress, and I, there's actually a sequel to Day of Silence that is out already. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, do, you, do you all have any questions uh, for Jerry? Um, what do you want to do when you grow up? <laughs> that's actually kind of hard because there's so many things. I have a nonprofit organization called Kids Resource, 
So I'm going to be working on that. I'm going to be acting. I'm going to be directing. I'm going to be writing. But at the long term, at the end, I will probably be a director or producer. <coughs> I was just wondering if this particular film was any, had anything to do with a, a larger um, uh, challenge. Like, was there a challenge to write? Uh, for kids to write uh, stories about bullying, or did you just come up with the topic on your own? Uh, this, uh, the, where I got the topic is I was bullied myself. So this is kind of from my experiences, and these are the same reasons I was bullied. And I'm a big fan of Ellen DeGeneres. And the, and the day I told my parents about I was being bullied, she said that you should, that anybody can make a difference and you should help you should help uh, the bullying cause. And if Ellen says something, I do it, so. <laughs> That's basically what I That's basically where I got all of it, but it's, basic, it's almost completely based off my experiences, except getting run over from a car. <laughs> Our grand productions definitely helped us in that angle. That's basically higher ground productions. Uh, gave us all the professional cameras and the lighting equipment and the fading equipment, basically everything. That's great. So higher ground productions, I'm not familiar with that. Could you explain that? Higher ground productions is a production company that are basically helped us create all our films. All right. That's ba all our films. We didn't use any other production companies of higher ground. Now I don't. That's not my production company. That's my crew's production company. So I basically work with that. Did you have to write a proposal to to give to them? How did you make contact with them? Um, how I made made contact with my camera crew is when I was making my first one, meeting Ellen. I already told you about Ellen the Generous. Um. <laughs> So basically what happened is we're looking for a camera crew and uh, they were the first to pop up. So we basically selected them and chose them. They looked pretty good and that, that's how it all started from there. Great. Got another question? No, I'm just nodding. No, there's one behind you. Has the real bully seen it? Has he seen the movie? Well, that I do not know because it was a really long time ago and I forgot his name. <laughs> so, you can see, honestly, I will never remember his name. I hope he saw it. That's all I have to say. I actually hope he saw Boards Bully more because, because I hope he knows that more, more than one person knows how a bully is formed. Yeah. Charlton asked you this earlier, but I didn't get to hear your answer. How did you hear about George Lucas? Because right when I heard I was in a film festival, I always get excited because f being film festivals is uh, lots of fun. I'm pretty sure I was just signing on to film festivals, like get, giving them my information, and uh, they and you got and uh, they picked it up. So uh, this is the first one that you were uh, picked to be shown at, but since then it's been two more, right? Yes, two more have contacted me, and um, this is the first one. Great. Let's give him one more hand. Yeah. So today is the award show, and I'm extremely excited. I really hope good things, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Thank you for joining us this year to honor the outstanding films at this festival. We are so happy to see so many filmmakers and film fans tonight. This year has been one of much loss for the film festival. We've said goodbye to George Lindsay, who envisioned a film festival at his alma mater that would celebrate independent filmmaking and would help educate a new generation of filmmakers.
one of the South's best actors. Natalie Cannaday has appeared in over 25 films from the big box office, big budget box office favorites, October Sky, Walk the Line, and Biloxi Blues, to critically acclaimed films, One False Move, Sling Blade, and Shotgun Stories. In 1997, Miss Cannaday and the cast of Sling Blade were nominated for Best Ensemble Performance at the Screen Actor Guild Awards. Miss Cannaday has been a longtime supporter and frequent guest of the George Lindsay UNA Film Festival. And we are honored to have her back as your Waterproof. Um, <laughs> hello and welcome. Now that we've got the deaths out of the way, I'm supposed to be funny. Um, I'll turn your attention to my back fat. Girls, let this be a lesson to all of you. Try your outfit on before you go to another state. And be sure and bring your spanks or you'll look like this. I'm very sorry. Um, you know, I was a uh, Thursday, I got to town Thursday, and I was over at Cajun's, it's a bar down by the river, uh, doing shots with Mrs. Kale. <laughs> and, uh, she said, Natalie, how many years have you been coming to the festival? And I couldn't remember, you know, for this festival to be so great, nobody writes anything down. We kind of figured out that my first one may have been in 2003, but we're not sure. And uh, as Miss Carol was licking the salt, she said, well, Natalie, <laughs> what keeps you coming back to this festival of all the other ones? And it was the people, I don't want to cry, the people like George, Lindsay, and Dr. Foster, uh, Heath, and uh, Thang, Ernest and I, I knew all four of them. Um, of course, George or Dr. Foster, I would gladly live you know, give my liver to if they needed it, but they wouldn't want it. But uh, <laughs> see, I love those two old men. Uh, I lost my dad this year. 2012 was a sucky year for dad. And I wasn't nearly as upset about my own daddy as I was about George Lindsay. So and, uh, I'm so sorry about your dead daddy. I just love that. Uh, I'm glad we can carry on here and honor him and honor his memory. Uh, well, that's my introduction. I won't do that. Uh, it's wonderful to be back at UNA for the George Lindsay Film Festival. Like I said, we think in the last 10 years, I've been here seven out of 10. Uh, I've done panels, workshops, hosted the awards. Uh, Danny did them last year, as you know, they weren't funny. So they asked me to come back this year. And, uh, and I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, the George Lindsay UNA Film Festival's mission is to discover emerging talent and promote their work by reaching, educating, inspiring, and entertaining audiences with the best in cinematic art. And if you attended this year's screenings, panels, special events, you know they more than achieved that goal. <laughs> I just want to thank uh, Lindsay Film Festival for the opportunity, and I just want to thank my film family for all their support and everything they've done for me. I love you guys. Wow. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> I mean, first I get a good hotel, and then I get two prizes. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I want to uh, thank my family, and I want to thank ed everybody that taught me everything I know today. And I want to thank all the actors and actresses in the movie, and my camera crew, and Terry Davis, he was a big help in the movie.